<laughs> no. When you're a kid, you have to explore bad decisions. You have to experiment to see why they're bad decisions in the first place, right? We can all agree on that. And whenever I was a kid, I had my fair share of bad decisions. One of them was smoking marijuana. Now, my family has a history of drugs, so I never really got into it that much. Um, the most I've ever done was smoke weed a couple of times and drink, get drunk a few times. Um, but that's it. I don't do anything now. I haven't smoked weed since high school. I just, it wasn't my thing. And I'll tell you why. This story is the first time I ever smoked weed. Now, back then, there were people saying rumors, yeah, the first time you smoke, you're probably not going to get high. Who, that doesn't make any sense. But that was the rumor. And I smoked black and milds at the time every now and then because, you know, I was cool. And I remember my, my good childhood friend at the time, he smoked, and I was like, yeah, I've smoked before. With who? Uh, you know, just, you know, people, you know. You don't know. So we got this, we so said we got weed from an, a friend of ours. I can't remember who it was. We were on his back porch, and we were passing a bowl. We would light it up. I'd inhale it. Blow it out. Hey, no big deal, man. You know, I was confident. I don't know where I got this confidence from, but I was so confident about smoking this weed because, shit, I've done it before, man. No big deal. Uh-oh. So I keep hitting it, you know, pass it, hit it, and I was like, hey, man, light more now. I don't even feel it. So I feel like I'm getting above. I'm expecting weed to hit me like cigarettes hit me. So I'm hitting it like I'm smoking a cigarette. We, I pat, we keep passing the bowl back and forth. You know, I take a hit of it one more time. Oh, blow it out. Sit back in my chair. All of a fucking sudden, it hits. And I was not expecting anything like this. So in hindsight 2020 now, I went into shock. But back then, whenever I got high for the first time, I immediately knew I went straight to hell. My soul fell from my body. All right. Disclaimer. I'm religious, so I have more of a religious view on it. So it might sound crazy. It wasn't laced. My friends smoked the same shit as I did, and he didn't have this reaction at all. So I look at this more of a religious experience rather than anything. So what happened, I can hear the inside of my ears. It's like it's kind of like you put a, a, a seashell over your ears, and you know that, that ambient noise that you hear when your ears, they you'd say, that's the sound of the ocean. It's not, it's not the sound of the ocean, but that's what I heard. That's the kind of, I, it's like I heard the atmosphere. <laughs> I remember I got up. I didn't know what was going on. I, 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 I literally felt like my soul fell from the dimension that I was sitting in into a dimension that's, that, that hell is located in. So I was still living the same life, right? But as, as a spiritual creature that was experiencing constant pain, pain on all all frequencies, uh, like physical pain, mental pain, emotional pain. I felt pain on all frequencies, constant. And I remember the first thing I did when I got up is I, I would see things and it would have like a deja vu feeling. Like, you know, he's like, oh, I had deja vu. This must have happened before. So I would have a sense of deja vu. And then my mind would say, that was a sign from God. For an example, you know the old saying, you know, your mother's always right. Your mom's never wrong or whatever whatever it is. I remember my mom saying, drugs are bad, you know, they could kill you, right? And I took that as, that's a sign from God. I ignored the signs from God. This is my punishment. Fucking crazy! And I didn't know what to do. So I got up. And immediately stood up, got on my phone, and I called my mom, dumbass, called my mom. Now, this is trippy, and I know this happened for this specific duration because I looked on my phone after this happened, and it was like two and a half minutes, three minutes, something like that. Fucking crazy. And I called her, and I said, Mom, help. I, I remember just not knowing. It was like I was trying to contact the living to say, help me, help me. I was like, Mom, help. Uh, and then all of a sudden, she's like, what's going on? 
and immediately I lost control of my body once again. I'm like coming in and out of controlling my body and what it does and what I'm saying. This sounds so fucked up. It's true though. And I remember going, exactly, I'm high right now. I'm high right now. I'm high right now. And I kept repeating that while walking like this. Looking at the ground and everything, and I just hear some background noise of my friend. He was chill. He was just like, dude, stop. Dude, you're tripping. Stop. You're playing. Stop playing. He didn't believe I was on the phone with my mom. I was definitely on the phone with my mom. And I remember that would go on for about two and a half, three minutes. And then finally, my brain was like, stop. And I stopped, and I was like, she's like, what's going on? Are you okay? What's going on? She was at work, and I was like, Nothing. I was just joking around. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. And my friend, he's like, she's like, put your friend on the phone, so and so on the phone. And he takes the phone. He's like, yeah, he's sleepwalking. You know, this and that. He's fine because recently I had like a really bad dehydration um, thing go on because you know wrestler cutting weight and all this stuff. And we kind of blamed it on that. And I remember he hung up the phone. He's like, dude, why'd you call your mom? We're like fifteen. Why'd you call your mom? You know, why'd you do that? And I was like, dude, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this is the past or the present. And I remember it goes, look, see? And then I took my my hand, put it on my forehead, and started banging my head on the counter. What the fuck? Crazy shit. I remember it's like, dude, you are tripping. You are tripping. You're going to make me trip. And I could not control my body. That was such a scary experience. And it was something that I never wanted to experience it again. But being a stupid ass kid, that I did it again. Dumb ass. I remember, I, same friend, same house, same porch, but more people this time. And this was, so I got high, I think maybe three or four times in my life. And all of them were because of dumb ass peer pressure. Such an idiot. I was a dumb kid. And this time, you know, it was a bunch of well-known stoners at my high school. And they smoked weed a lot. And they were hardcore into weed. Like, they, they did a little bit more than weed. And I remember, he's like, dude, look at this weed. I don't know nothing about weed. But he's like, look at this, man. It was, it was like a, a little nugget. And it had like crystals on it and some red hairs. And I remember looking at like, dude, that is going to fuck me up. I ain't taking a hit of that. So what I did, they were passing around the gravity bong. And a gravity bong is basically, I don't even know, but they said it was a gravity bong. <laughs> and they were passing it around. And I was like, when it got to me, I can't say no. I don't want to be a loser. That's how you are in high school. I don't want to be a loser. So I took it, you know, this was this was probably six months later, right? I took it, and I took a hit of it, but in my mind, I was like, I'm just not going to inhale it. I'm going to pretend I inhale it. I accidentally inhale it because I try to fake cough, and I inhale it. And I'm, and I'm like, man, I hope I don't get high. It happens again. I'm so fucked up again. I hear the atmosphere fucking breathing, and this time, I'm tripping bad. I pour my, I like stand up and like, whoa, what's he doing? They think this is funny because they heard I trip like a motherfucker. So they think this is funny. They're laughing. I pour my water bottle out on the porch, the wooden porch, and I try to dive through the water thinking that I was going to get out of the situation like that. And they go, whoa, what are you doing? I remember I was looking at a fire truck, like a puzzle on a puzzle box. And it was just a fire truck on it. And I couldn't make out the fire truck. I was looking at it, trying to focus What's going on? What 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 is this image? I lay on the couch and they're listening to an iPod, uh, a, a song on an iPod, but they're using like iPod speakers called iSpeakers or something, and th it doesn't skip. iPod music on phones don't skip, right? So I remember they were playing some rap song and then it would get to a part and then it would play the part again i don't know let's say for for an example here's exactly what it was like if you go to the song i was gonna clean my room but then i got high it would say i was gonna clean my i was gonna clean my i was gonna clean my i was gonna and it would repeat and i was stuck on this repeat and i was listening to it repeating i was like what the fuck and all of a sudden i jolt up and look at the 
at the, at the at the area they were sitting at, and then and then it goes, I was gonna clean my room, and then I got hot. I was like, dude, what the fuck's going on? I'm freaking out. If I'm not looking at you, like if I'm looking at you, you're doing your thing. But once I look away, the other people in the room would sit there and look at me. But and when I would come back to look, they would go back to where they were. I was tripping balls. I was so high. I ain't shitting around, dude. I'm not fucking. They went out and smoked more. And they were like, come out with us, get some fresh air. I was like, okay. I would sit around them smoking. I wasn't smoking. I was like, dude, I, I can't. I tank, can't take another hit. I don't take another hit. But while they're smoking outside, I feel it intensifying again. I was like, dude, I can't. So now I go outside. I'm in cargo shorts and a fucking t-shirt. I go outside. And and I was like, dude, how do I get rid of this? Maybe if I go for a run. I'm going to go for a run. So I tell him, I'm going to go for a run, guys. I'll be right back. I'm tripping so hard. And I go outside. And now... I'm like, okay, I got to run. So I go up this hill, and then I go, God, I just want this to go away. So I close my eyes, and I'm like, gosh, I want to go away so bad. Please, Lord, please help me out. So I'm I'm just closing my eyes, and I close my eyes, and I just run. So fucking stupid. And I'm running up this hill in this neighborhood, and I keep going, and I'm going, and I'm going. And I had to have been going for about two, two minutes with my eyes closed, just praying. And then I open my eyes. I'm at the top of the hill. And it's only about 20 yards. I was like, dude, I'm fucking tripping. Yeah, dude. And then we ended up spending the night there. And I remember going to bed high. And I woke up still high. I was so fucking out of my mind blazed, dude. I was, I didn't know what to do. It was hell again. I I, I was praying constantly. And everything that happened the first time happened the second time. And... It's just, that's when I realized, it ain't for me. When people tell me, oh, it relaxes me, it does this, it does that, it's like, what the fuck? What are you smoking? How? How does that happen to you? It doesn't ha- that doesn't happen to me. When I, I, can, I can make a fucking scary movie, a horror movie, from the experiences that I've experienced on just marijuana, one hit. I know people are going to watch this, maybe, and say, Dude, it was laced with something, you know, this and that. It had to have been laced with something. I'm telling you, I've never smoked alone. And I've always smoked with people. And those people did not have the same experiences as me. Look at how dark it got in here. Holy shit. (laughs) If you enjoyed this story, let me know. I've got a thousand stories. I've lived such a... I'm an idiot. I'm curious, has anyone else ever tripped balls on weed other than me i haven't met anyone and everybody insists that it was laced with something but i stand by it it wasn't laced thank y'all for watching and uh i'll see you in the next one